Peritoneal mesothelioma is a rare and aggressive form of cancer that affects the peritoneum. The thin layer of tissue that lines the abdomen and covers most of the organs in the abdominal cavity. It is primarily caused by exposure to asbestos, a naturally occurring mineral that was commonly used in various industries until its health risks became known. In this article, we will explore peritoneal mesothelioma in detail, including its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment options, and prognosis. 1. Causes and Risk Factors As mentioned, asbestos exposure is the leading cause of peritoneal mesothelioma. Individuals who worked in industries such as construction, shipbuilding, mining, and manufacturing are at the highest risk of exposure. Additionally, secondary exposure can occur when asbestos fibers are brought home on clothing, leading to exposure for family members. 2. Symptoms the symptoms of peritoneal mesothelioma can be nonspecific and may resemble those of other abdominal conditions, making diagnosis difficult. Common symptoms include abdominal pain or swelling, nausea, vomiting, unexplained weight loss, bowel changes, and fatigue. Because these symptoms can mimic those of less serious conditions, patients often experience delays in diagnosis. 3. Diagnosis. Diagnosing peritoneal mesothelioma typically involves a combination of imaging tests, such as CT scans and MRIs, along with biopsies to confirm the presence of mesothelioma cells. A thorough medical history, including any history of asbestos exposure, is essential for accurate diagnosis. Additionally, blood tests may be conducted to assess levels of specific biomarkers associated with mesothelioma. 4. Stage of um, other forms of cancer. Peritoneal mesothelioma is staged to determine the extent of the disease and guide treatment decisions. Staging may involve imaging studies, such as CT scans and PET scans, as well as surgical exploration to assess tumor spread. The most commonly used staging system for peritoneal mesothelioma is the TNM system, which evaluates tumor size, lymph node involvement, and the presence of metastasis. 5. Treatment Options Treatment for peritoneal mesothelioma often involves a multimodal approach, combining surgery, chemotherapy, and sometimes radiation therapy. The goal of treatment is to remove or shrink tumors alleviate symptoms, and improve overall quality of life. The most common surgical procedure for peritoneal mesothelioma is cytoreductive surgery CRS, followed by hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy HIPEC, which involves delivering heated chemotherapy directly into the abdominal cavity to kill remaining cancer cells. 6. Prognosis the prognosis for peritoneal mesothelioma varies depending on several factors, including the stage of the disease, the patient's overall health, and the effectiveness of treatment. Generally, peritoneal mesothelioma has a poorer prognosis compared to other forms of mesothelioma.